Hey guys, today we're looking at a really fun one. This is the 2016 A1708 um, MacBook Pro screen. We're going to do a replacement on that. I know it's a blast. You can't wait. Can't you wait either? I just can't wait for this one. Okay, so um, this one always has does have an issue, especially with the cables. Um, sometimes over time when you bend it, open it, um, it does go bad. Um, it's just not a really great design. I do know on the later models, I believe it's the 2018, they actually made the cables a little bit longer here, so you don't get that little stage effect um, at the bottom of your screen. If you do get that, you need a replacement. But to be honest, it might happen again, so let's not really go down that road in this video anyway. But, so, you probably wonder, oh, you have the cover off. Why did you take off the cover? I need to see how to do that. Honestly, you should probably check out another video on how to just remove the cover. Um, it is a little bit of a pain, especially on this model. Um, you kind of have to pull down and stuff like that and get some suction cups. And Yep, so that's another video. This we're focusing on the screen. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure you take out the battery connection. And this goes right here. So be very careful. Um, you just lift up the latch and pull this little cable out. Be very careful that as your battery connection. If you lose that, you lose this board. Um, and of course, you can go here. Here's the LCD connection. I already took out these two because they're just the main ones, but this is the main focus, and you can kind of see it flap in here. Uh, there's two screws on each side, and there's just two plates that go over it that, that disconnect it. And now we're going to get into the meat of it, which is pretty much just do all the screws here. There's so many of them. It's very important that you have the right screwdriver for these, and you make sure you know exactly which goes where. So honestly right now, because I know this is for me, I'm going to go take a picture of this just to make sure on my OnePlus 6T just to make sure I remember or if I forget I won't forget anymore okay so I took a picture we're all good there's so many screws there's so many things to disconnect it's ridiculous um, on the older ones it's pretty simply just pop it and it go, it's all good to go so I'm gonna go start um, you want to remove there's a little Wi-Fi bin that goes under here it's a little bar that kind of goes across so you want to remove that and then the screen can come up after that so um, let's get into just removing kind of the plates and everything here just to kind of disconnect it so I'll try to do the best I can to show it and be very careful choose the right screwdriver if you feel any resistance it's probably the wrong one and you're doing something wrong so always try to remember where you're gonna place these screws because you, if you damage any of these screws, it's going to be very hard to get any of these out. Okay, so I'm putting one, two. I'm taking off the plate. And this is the old um, connections that you can remember here. Let me. Okay, so these are the old ones you're, everyone's very familiar with if you've ever done a screen from Apple before. They have on pretty much every model. They have, it looks like this. Um, we're going to leave that off for now. I'm going to do this side now. Again, be very careful about stripping any of these screws. There's so many, it's going to be so easy to do that. So, remove both that. I like, I'm just going to leave it down here. Remember the order? Um, I, would, I would honestly put it exactly the way it was. Like, I wouldn't be messing, even though these screws might look the same. Who knows? Sometimes they have, especially for the phones, they have different size screws, and you can't even tell the difference. But they are different anyway. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is the cover that goes to the cable itself. It's right here and it's right here. Now, these are the ones that are exposed and on the front, when you flip it open, you actually see the exposed cable. We're going to talk about that later because it's very important you make sure you put this the right way. So let's get this out. Um, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. Take off the plate put it with it and you're gonna want to notice how it's bent um, I would definitely try to remember that take a picture of it just to see exactly how it is you know I am going to take a picture right after I undo this because I do know it's very important on um, on how that cable goes because when you get a new screen it's gonna be not as flapped um, if you get a used one you might have a flap that goes over just like that but a new screen might not have it I, I could be wrong but I'll show you which one I have so, okay, took a picture of that. I feel pretty comfortable, confident now. Okay, we're going to continue along. i um, just going to continue along this bar here. It looks like there's one, two, three, four left. Uh, 
All right, now we're going to get into the next one, which is the fun time here. It goes all the way across, all these little ones here, and then we're going to go through all these little ones here. All right, so once you get all the screws on both sides out, it's great, it looks good. Once you get those out, I should be able to lift this up actually. But actually you wanna get this screw and you wanna make sure these antennas are unplugged because that's all part of the one piece. So let's take out this screw. You can still use that same screwdriver you've been using. Get underneath it. A plastic angle, you can feel it wobble if you don't, um, you're probably doing it wrong. Okay, so there you go, boom. This is vital, you have to take this part out. Um, <laughs> if you don't, it's not going to come out. So watch the antenna cables, they don't get stuck. So this is the, this is pretty much for the Wi-Fi antenna. It's really unnecessary that they put all these screws there. Probably could have put like one or two big screws and that probably would have been fine. But anyways, now all we have to do now, um, there's a few right there, one, two, one, two. And then after we do that, we can take out like the old, we'll get to the good old screws last. This is the good old fashioned Apple MacBook screws. Okay, so let's do these two. Should be able to use the same screwdriver. See, so you can kind of feel it a little bit and it comes out. Kind of bends up with the screen and everything. So let's just flick it up. Leave it up top. Okay. All right. Now we got our favorite screws. We got the pretty much the standard ones for all the other old MacBook Pros. Um, I do have one I screwed over. Now, um, for this, there's a few tricks. I like doing this my way because you can just try to bend it if you have trouble with your fingers, which I'm having a little bit right now. You can actually just, you have to be really careful. You gotta line it up perfectly like it would normally bend. Do it even on each side. You can bend it up a little bit so it pulls, just go very slow, just so it pulls up, just like it normally would when you open the MacBook. Okay. Okay, once you do that, you have this left. So you can just kinda un unhook it. That's kinda how I did there. You just get a feel for it and just pull it up. I mean, other people might show you just to kinda bend the metal piece bend these metal pieces up and then kind of lift it up like that but we're just going to remove it anyway so um, that's a little bit simple I think it's a little bit easier than using a, like, a pry, like a pry tool or something like that to get it up or pliers or anything so it looks like we're just going to put it in exactly the same way we put it back so you take this little piece off All right. so I definitely want to make sure this is tight so I want to see the length let's see I just want to kind of compare the length a little bit. Looks like it'll probably do it when you put it back on. It'll probably go exactly with the way it's supposed to. But we have to watch for that. So just kind of compare it to what you had before, and that would be exactly the same way you do it. So we're going to put the screen on now. Of course, keep all the stuff up. Make sure you keep all these little, even there are other cables behind it, you know. You don't want to be very gentle, everything with it. These cables are super fragile. All right, and now the biggest concern we have is the cables. So we want to see how far they stretch, how far they go. If you're having a little bit of trouble, you can bend these down a little bit. I think that might be the reason it's doing it. Okay, so we want to make sure this came out all of, as far as it possibly can, because um, that's, of course, the biggest concern in this whole thing is the cables because you don't want to give it to someone or have it for yourself and these cables eventually go out again so they look like they're pretty good looks like it's matching up pretty smoothly here but I do want to be sure because it's still not tight so these cables I definitely want these to be they're gonna be more secure when you plug it in and everything it's gonna look much better but now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just tie this up here I'm gonna pretty much put these screws in here and then I'm gonna just bend it just to kind of see how it looks um, if it looks good then we'll keep going with it yeah. all right since that was actually pretty smooth let's just bend it and see how it looks even on the other side for now 
because that's the most important. We have to worry about this. You don't want to put it in a screen and then the cable's sticking out on the other side really badly. But I'm bending it. It looks really good. It looks pretty smooth. It does look good. I do like it. Um, we're going to flex a little bit. Okay, it looks good actually. Let's see the bottom. See how the bottom looks as I do that. Okay, so I think the bottom has enough pull. It looks like it's all the way in. That's very good. Um, the cables do look good here. Nothing looks like it's really stretching or anything. Looks pretty solid there. All right, now we're just going to reverse everything. So if you guys want to do that, I'll catch up with you. All right, so once we get everything else in, now what we want to do, we're going to make sure this is flat as best as we can because the other one was flat that we had before. Um, this one was pinched here. So we're going to go look at this again. It looks like this is completely flat. The bold, it goes up, but even when you see it like this, it looks pretty good. Even when you go flat like this, then it's going to be totally flat. So we want to kind of get this a similar thing. Um, to be fair, though, it's been manufactured bad, so it doesn't matter what you do. But we're going to make sure it's pretty flat and there's a little bit of space there. So let's look at this. Let's see how the difference is because this is now where we need to screw it in here. Um, it's not totally flat right now, but I think that's going to be fine because it's going to bend up. So we got everything in. Looks good. One last check. Let's bend it a few times. Let's make sure it's all good. Okay, looks good. If you didn't put in the Wi-Fi um, big piece right here all the way, you could hear a little bit of creak. Um, that that would happen. So if, if you did that a little bit wrong, you just push it in, make sure the screws line up and everything, you should be good to go. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, um, please leave a like. Um, subscribe for more content. We do a lot of repairs. I would try to do some other things as well. We'll do some uh, topics that deal with repairs and stuff like that. Um, but anything else that you've probably found useful or if you have any other tips for, for having to do this, uh, just comment down below. That would help a lot. Um, please subscribe and it really does help a lot. Share this with your friends or share this with an Apple employee. How about that? All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.